Okay, so we're going to go through how to utilize the enforcer lock, and it requires the Alloy 350 lock for it. So we're going to walk you through how to actually get these in there. And once they're in there, they can stay in there. So this is how you assemble the lock and the enforcer together. So the first thing you'll do, as you can see from the bottom, you want to make sure that this hole isn't in line with this. So when you push it out a little bit, you can see it's clear. You unlock your lock. And it's best to do this over a uh, an edge. You put your lock through with a little bit of a tilt. And then it hangs. Pull it up. And once it's perpendicular or parallel, sorry, with the with the enforcer. Enforcer, you turn it. And then from the bottom you can push the other one up. It's caught right now. All right. And then you just twist to keep it locked. So you can see it's locked in. These two bars can't pull apart. To get it to lock onto your trailer, you need to have the shackle in one of these grooves. So you'll just unlock it. Adjust it to your bars on the trailer, and whenever they're in the right position, you just lock it again. And now it's locked on one of these. It's not going anywhere. There you go.